gotta fight to win. Fight to win. Fight to win. I'ma say it again. You gotta fight to win. Fight, fight, fight to win. It ain't over till it's over. It's about to begin. I'm so dedicated. Good Monday morning. Thanks for joining and tuning in to Indie Fire's Monday Motivation. This is your man, Caso. The My Struggle is My Strength Motivational Speaker. I hope that everyone had a great weekend. I hope that everybody is staying safe. And I definitely hope that everybody is, is wearing their mask. Um, before we get started, I'd like to thank Indie Fire for giving me this opportunity to speak. You can tune in to her show at 6.30 p.m., Eastern Standard Time on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays for music, entertainment news, and daily inspiration for everyone. That's right, guys. Go to Blog Talk Radio forward slash Indie Fire. That's E N D I E, and Fire is F I Y A. Last week, we began our series discussing doors. We said that God opens doors that no man can shut. And he also shuts doors that no man can open. Doors are synonymous with opportunities. The best thing that we can do is to prepare ourselves for the opportunities before they arrive. We can choose the right door by having a spirit of discernment. We also talked about the different types of doors. You have physical doors, doors that open and close with human force. There are doors that open once, once you get in a certain proximity. And then there are also doors that have a timing on it, kind of like a banking vault. This type of door is indicative of timing of the opportunity. If you miss or procrastinate on the timing of the opportunity, you have to wait until that timing comes back around full circle. Then there are doors that open if you have the correct key and use that key. Keys don't just unlock doors and give us access to things, but they also lock things from entering into our lives. And some of you have keys that you are not using. They don't just allow us to drive our cars or let us into our homes, but the way the key works, they are activated spiritually. Matthew 16, 19 says, I will give you the keys of the kingdom. Whatever you bind or unlock on earth, will be locked in heaven and whatever you loose or unlock on earth will be unlocked in heaven. In other words, you possess keys. However, accessing the blessing is totally up to you. Jesus Jesus gives us the keys to his kingdom because it solves our biggest problem. Our biggest problem is is not being able to control your circumstances. Now, I want you to think about it. Think about one thing in your life. If you could fix that, if you could fix that thing, how much would that make your life better? Because everybody has that one thing, right? Because if you're part of God's kingdom, it transcends democracy, it transcends your ethnicity, and even your problem. So God gives us keys to his kingdom. We just need to we just need to use them. So many people have a problem with giving, not understanding that giving is a key it's a key that unlocks heaven over your life and that's why it says give and it will be given unto you press down shaking together and running over and this is not rocket science god for the same measure you give that same measure will be given back to you now you don't have to use the key if you don't want to so when we use this when we use this key we unlock supernatural resources in our life I think it was Miles Monroe that said, the man that doesn't read is just as bad as the man that can't read. And the same applies to having keys, but you don't know what they go to or you don't know how they work. And oftentimes we don't understand that we possess keys, but, you know, it has no power in our life if we don't know how to use it. Now, I believe that God is looking for people who will be a funnel that he can give himself through are you that kind of person that god can funnel his love through his blessings through his seed through because anything that god that god brings to you he wants to get it to you and through you because let me tell you if you have received something for free maybe um as a gift or or maybe a free meal whatever you have received freely 
you are supposed to be the person that God can funnel his blessings through. Whatever you've been blessed with, you know, part of that responsibility is to be a blessing to others. When you give, you are you are unlocking blessings over your life. Giving is more than something that you do. In fact, it is who you are. Being a giver develops a, a, a men mentality of prosperity because the more you give, the more you receive. It's an antidote against scarcity and every time you give, you overcome a poverty mentality that says, I don't have enough. When we give, we are most like God and we move ourselves away from needing a blessing to being a blessing. That's why it says it is more blessed to give than receive. Not just because Jesus said so, but because our lives become infallible proofs of how God op of how God opening the windows of heaven over our lives so that his blessings can flow to others because of our giving. And I discovered another significant key, and that key is the word of God. One of the reasons the word of God is such a key in our lives is because if we can get the word of God planted in the soul of our spirit, then you can become the person with God's help. He will do the impossible. It's the word of God that teaches you how to live from the inside out and not from the outside in. In other words, your life will have focus from the inside out. Our brother David said that his word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my pathway. So I have hidden God's word in my heart. Now, the heart is synonymous with the mind. So the word becomes this lamp. So whenever you're, you're going through life and, and you're confused and you don't know uh, which way to go, uh, the word of God will direct you and you can speak the word over your situation and circumstances. And check this. When you plant the word of God in your heart, it's a supernatural seed planted in the soil of your spirit. It illuminates from the inside out to give you clarity. When I need direction and, and perspective to my process, I have inclined my heart to perform your statues forever to the very end. When you hear the word, your faith is elevated to do the word. And as you daily do the word, the ways of the word will, will become instinctive in your life. Whenever the word becomes instinctive in your daily life, modus operandi, you will have the word when you need it. So, as we're recapping, as we are recapping, our biggest problem is not being able to control our circumstances. But Jesus gives us keys to his kingdom because it solves our biggest problem. Now, there are several keys to the kingdom, but the one key that we discussed or the one of the keys that we discussed today is giving. Giving is more than something that you do. It is who you are giving, give, and it will be given back to you. And the other key that we discussed is the word of God that teaches you how to live from the inside out and not the outside in. So whenever you're confused and don't know which way to go. The word of God is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. This is your man, Costo. I want you guys to follow me on Instagram at ms underscore is underscore ms. And join us next week in the continuation of our door series. I hope that everybody stays safe. Hope you guys wear your mask. Hope you guys are social distancing. And remember... That saving lives starts with you.